What is up guys, Jeremy from the New Age, I'm back with another video. This is kind of a part two video for the FIFA controller video that I already did. Okay, so I've had a lot of views, which I really appreciate. Um, I have a lot of comments on it, people having issues still. Most of you guys have been able to figure it out, uh, but there's still some people that are struggling a little bit, and I just want to point out a couple little things before we get into this. Um, one, you do have to have your PS4 controller plugged in with a USB cable. The second thing is the auto launch, okay? That is the key to this whole thing. So if you just watch the first two minutes of my video, method's not gonna work for you. Second is your Steam settings. We'll go over that in just a second, but they have to look like mine for the PS4 controller to work. All right, so we're gonna go over that right now. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I want to do is just make sure that everyone knows um, this is a part two type of video. We're also going to troubleshoot a couple little other issues that we have going on with the controller, okay? So let's go into our Steam settings real quick. This is what I was talking about. Let's open Steam. And into big picture mode we go. I have my controller here. And this is what I mean for controller issue or controller settings, okay? You go up to this little gear, you go to controller settings. And this is what I mean. Your set your Steam settings should look like this. Guide button focuses Steam should be off. And these are the only two that should be selected, okay? So that is item number one that a lot of people are getting wrong. The auto launch, I already showed you how to set up. Refer to my other video uh, for that, okay? So there's still some issues that a lot of people are having. Well, not a lot. I would say some people are having with their controller. Uh, maybe your buttons are the one of the most one of the most common ones is maybe your buttons are all messed up. So maybe like your X button is up on the D-pad or vice versa. Like buttons are just messed up. What that means is your controller profile in the game is messed up. So what you need to do is the following. Okay, we're going to exit out Steam completely. What you're going to do is you're going to go down to your Bluetooth. Just go down to the search, search for Bluetooth and other device settings. And it's under audio for some reason. PS4 controllers just, you know, don't register in Windows, right? Find your wireless controller. Click it and hit remove device. So you're going to remove it. Wait for it to remove here. Should take a second. There it goes. Unplug it. You can see I did that here. Okay, it's completely unplugged. Plug it back in. Now you're going to see Windows setting it up right here. It says setting up a device. You need to let Windows do its thing before you do anything else. Okay, let Windows do its thing here. What it's, it's doing is it's installing the drivers, okay? So just let it do that. You'll see it here where it says other devices, unknown device, boom. And now it says device is ready, wireless controller is set up and ready to go. Perfect. Okay, now you can exit this out. Go into your documents folder. Okay, there's multiple ways to do that. You can search for documents. Okay. The easy way to do it is just go to your file explorer. It's right down here. Click that. Click documents. Now in FIFA 21, see your settings folder here. All you have to do is delete that. Okay. Delete the settings folder. All right. Easy. So after you delete the settings folder, go back into Steam. Go to big picture mode. Up to settings, controller settings. And here we have, make sure that this is correct, okay? It looks just like this. This is what it needs to look like. Okay, I'm just gonna go down to detected controllers and identify it real quick. You click identify, you should feel it vibrate, okay? 
and I'm completely moving with my controller right now. If you already have the auto launch set up, if, then go into your library, go to FIFA, and hit play with your controller. Now, after you hit play with your controller, you need to let it do its thing. Do not touch anything with your mouse. Do not touch anything else. Just let it go, okay? So and that's kind of it. Um, I know that uh, a lot of people have had um, that issue where the buttons are kind of scrambled and stuff like that. That's how you reset that. Actually, this fix right here that I just showed you by resetting that controller profile will fix the majority of your issues. Um, it's worked for a lot of people. Now, the only other thing that I will say is that a lot of people, a common one that I've been getting is people are trying to set this method up with DS4 Windows still going. That cannot happen. You have to close DS4 Windows before you do anything with this method or it will not work. Okay? Besides that, thank you for watching. Appreciate all of you guys. Check out the other video um, for the actual, like the main setup on how to do this, the auto launch, stuff like that. This is more of a troubleshooting video. So, anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.